Yo, 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 what is going on, YouTube? It is your boy KP here, and we are back with the major challenge pick and predictions. Let's get right into the video. Two things I need everyone to do before this video starts. First, join my Discord down below. If I change any of my picks, it will be there first in my Discord. We also talk about the major. We watch the major together in my Discord. It's a really fun time. You guys should definitely be in there. Check it out down below in the description and the pinned comment. Secondly, I'm gonna need everyone to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, comment down below i'm going to be giving away the souvenir packages that i received from this event yet again and to be entered in those giveaways you need to be subscribed and you need to comment down below so i can enter you in all right that's it for me let's get right into the video what you came here for the pick em challenge prediction baby all right so just like last time we only need five correct picks from this first stage in order to get the point for the coin now the easiest way to do that is to just pick the five best teams and put them in the seven teams that will advance and easy that's easy five points right there i fucked up last time uh you know gambling on some teams we're not going to do it this time we're going to play it safe we're just going to go for the five points needed so getting right into it which five teams are going to advance no question in my mind all right first up vitality a hundred percent second best team in the world uh honestly out of every dog meat team on this list, Vitality is going to crush them. There's no way they don't make it into the next stage. Vitality will secure you a point 100%. Secondly, Mouse Sports. Kerrigan, Rops, Chris J. Everyone knows Mouse Sports is a team that gets shit done. They shouldn't be in this stage. There's a lot of dog meat teams in this stage. And Mouse Sports is just a level above. Boom, two points right there or at least should be, NRG, NRG is the third team I'm going to be putting down, they are the second best team in North America in my opinion, super solid, uh, Tarek, they just picked up Stanislaw, uh, been showing mixed results, but out of all the teams on this list, NRG should be making it through, fourth, we're going to be going with Furia, uh, Furia is actually a top five team in the world. They've put up really good results against Astralis and uh, other teams. While it may be mixed at times, depending on what event they've been at, they are a little inconsistent. I really, really think that out of every team on this list, Furia will probably go through. I think 3-1. I don't think they'll go 3-0. and I think 3-1 and or 3-2. and Furia will make it out though. They're a really good Brazilian team. Uh, if you keep up to date with HLTV or any pro CS, Furia's just been making waves. Even though they didn't do well at the last major, I really think they've evolved as a team so, so much. And they'll probably make it out of the challenger stage for this major. After Vitality, Mao's Energy, and Furia, there's a huge drop off in skill from the rest of these teams. All of these teams, I would consider top five to top 10 in the world contenders and then the rest just drop to top 15 20 30 so that's why these last three picks can get a little dicey now i'm gonna go based off my experience watching uh my knowledge of pro cs and what i've seen in the past from these teams so my fifth pick is going to be north they're currently ranked number 12 in the world and i really think as long as they show up they have a decent event. Uh, they're not sleepy. They're not monitor off. They're actually shooting back. North should make it out out of all these other teams. Alongside that, another team that came from the European minor that has been turning heads is Crazy. I'm going to be putting Crazy down because I really think out of all these teams, they are super, super solid. Crazy is a team mixed with ton of FPL players. You got Esperanto on there, uh, Nexa, really, really good and solid European players. So I truly think out of this list, if I had to put money on them, that's who I would put money on. Now the final pick, um, there's a lot of a lot of similar, similar skill based teams on here. Uh, Avangar, Fours, G2, uh, Ints, all similar, similar skill rank. But for me, I'm going to be going with fours. They won the CIS minor, and in head-to-head -head results, they have wins against G2. They have wins against Avangar. Um, they have—I'm not sure if they've played Dream Eaters, 
but I would assume they are better since they won the CIS minor. They are the winners of the Russia minor. So that's going to be the seven teams that I would put to go through. Now, in my honest opinion, I think Vitality will go 3-0, but we made the mistake last time of putting a team at 3-0 and then not getting the point when they made it through anyways. So again, these seven teams that I'm putting are just what's going to secure us the five points minimum that we need. That's why I'm putting Vitality down here and not in the 3-0. So we're going to take some gambles on the 3-0 and 0-3. And uh, for 3-0, I'm going to go ahead and put G2. I don't like G2. I do not think they will go 3-0. But again, I want the guaranteed point from a better team that they will 100% advance instead of putting a better team at 3-0 and risking that they lose a map, if you see what I'm saying. So G2 is a good gamble because they're, they are still ranked 8th in the world and they might just show up out of nowhere and go 3-0. Or they might show up out of nowhere and shit the bed and be out of the major. So I think G2 is a perfect gamble team to put in the 3-0 right now. Now the 0-3 is a little bit easier. Uh, I think Tyloo will win a map. I think Greyhound is pretty, pretty bad, but I don't think they'll go 0-3 like they did last time. I think Dream Eaters is pretty bad. Ince is pretty bad, but they have KNG, and KNG is just the X factor. He could literally win you a map. So the team I'm going to put for 0-3 is going to actually be Hellraisers. I've been watching them play recently. They are not the same team they used to be at all. Dead Fox isn't there. I don't know what they're doing. They look absolutely lost if you look at their hltv results they are losing to terrible teams terrible they are losing to tier three like russian teams like actually garbage so i'm putting hellraisers as my own three i'm sorry hellraisers i like you guys as an organization if you see this video i'm sorry but i don't think you're winning a map um Anyways, that's going to be my picks, guys. Let me know down in the comments if you agree. If you don't agree, I think this is the easiest way to get five points guaranteed. And uh, yeah, make sure to subscribe. There's going to be more Pick'em Challenge videos coming out just like this. If you want the diamond coin, this is the place to be. We're on like three golds in a row and a diamond in a row. We don't lose these. Even though it might be close, we don't lose these. But anyways, thank you guys all for watching. Uh, make sure to join my Discord below. Make sure to subscribe. Enter the giveaways. Comment down below. And uh, it has been your boy KP. We'll see you fucking next time. Peace.